the Welcome point. back to another edition of the Yodelcast. I'm your host, Doc Lettuce, bringing to you the number one fight on the Game Shrine ladder between Heartbreakers and IDK. These two teams the matched up just a little over a week ago with IDK taking it in two, Five, and Heartbreakers four, is here for the rematch. Three, so we are going to be starting off here on Arx Arena. It will be a best of three with Catabatic to follow and possibly Crossfire if needed. As this map gets underway, I'm going to give you guys a roster rundown. On Blood Eagle, we have Heartbreakers with Shaz, Knutson, Mimelin, Bins, Epix, LB, and Miri. And on Diamond Sword for IDK, we have PO, Crystal Light, Shad, Impaler, Creature, Tool, and Top Secret. Now, the caster in me is obviously hoping for three games, and I assume we will get three games. I think it's going to be a very close, uh, much closer match than before. I know that uh, Heartbreakers was using the game before for a little bit of practice, and I think they're bringing out their A game here. They really want that number one spot back, and I'm hoping they take at least one of the maps. And possibly two, you never know. Uh, so we're just going to stick here with Creature, just see how it's looking for him, as Knutson is getting the beat on him. He's down to 382 health already, and he just runs into an Aqueduct. Good start there for the IDK team, clearly. Uh, but let's give you guys a quick defensive setups here. We do have Miri on the flag, as always. We saw Knutson doing some sniping there. Ephix is also with Miri, doing a little bit of dueling, so he's going to be the roaming defense. And on the other side, we can see that they have Impaler doing the stand-on flag defense uh, with Pio and Shad. Shad doing the sniping. Pio's actually in that Pathfinder going out to duel, and uh, it's going to give him the option of Nitroning someone on the stand if he happens to be there at the same time. So two very different strategies. We do have two soldiers on the Heartbreaker side, and we have a soldier and a Pathfinder on the other. You can already see the effects of that as Shad gets absolutely demolished by Impaler. Uh, as Bins there did manage to out-duel uh, Pio, so that means that they were one player down. They couldn't really take advantage of it because the rest of their offense wasn't in play, but it's still something to keep an eye on. Uh, in the meantime, though, Tool is making a grab, somewhat of a llama, because the flag stand was clear. He is down to 800 health. Epix is following at him. He did boost himself. There doesn't seem to be much chasing going on here from the Heartbreakers team. Kudutsun is badly out of line of sight. Elby's coming in now with a nice mortar shot, barely missing. Uh, he's now being chain gunned down a little bit. He does toss it off to Creature here, who's back up to full health. There's Bins and LB trying to do something about it. Creature still staying around with... Oh, down to 110 health. Knutson does get a beat on him, and he does drop. This could be picked up again here by Pio, who then ends up dropping, punting, getting Nitroned it, and he picks it right back up again, though. Uh, he's going to toss it off to Impaler, who's got more than enough health to deal with Knutson, but in the meantime, I completely missed it. The Heartbreakers team got the flag out and all the way back to their base, so we will be moving on to the first standoff of the game. Both teams are going to be setting up in the pretty generic spot, but Miri does get taken down, and Top Secret's going to be able to get the return here. This is a problem for Heartbreakers. They're not going to be able to stop that, and we do have a 1-0 for IDK as Shaz makes a grab after the fact and goes down. Creature, in the meantime, getting a continuation grab. He's going, well, not so great. He's only done 275 health as well. Knutson does have a beat on him. He gets Nitron killed instead by Mimelin, who gets the return. Good job by Mimelin waiting on the other side of the Aqueduct. He was not really expecting that and uh, preventing that cap, because he was pretty much home away free other than that sniper thing. Top Secret trying to get out with the grab, but he's really down to 178. 22 from Knutson, one more shot will do it. Shot's missing, though. One more, got a chance. Ah, does get taken out by Mimelin again, uh, who does try and boost it away. Creature is there to try and pick it up, and he does at the last second. But he's got a lot of damage going on him. He's going down. Mimelin with the return. There was one more person following him. I believe it was Tool, but he got taken down, so an easy return for them there. On the other side, I just saw that Miri and Crystalite did blow each other up, uh, so the flag stand is pretty much clear here, just Knutson there for some distraction, but Creature did obviously go down because he did have that flag, and so they're not going to be able to take advantage of that, as Heartbreakers is resetting up now, and Creature is being absolutely bombarded by Knutson there in the back of your screen. Uh, Shaz, though, making a grab for the Heartbreakers team, and he's getting out. He's going incredibly quick. 300. He's going to make this all the way back to his base. The sniper's not going to be able to stop him. Creature coming in for the last second grab. Gets taken out by Miri, and the flag is capped, making it a quick 1-1. One one. Good grab there by Shaz. Didn't get to see it, unfortunately. But nonetheless, 300 speed, full health. No chance of him being stopped. The sniper had to hit multiple shots in a row, and it just wasn't possible. So a quick response there from Heartbreakers. Really uh, not letting that one cap get to them, and uh, we are tied up here, so... Just over 20 minutes to go. Only two caps in four minutes. It's fairly decent paced for this. Uh, with European rules, we obviously will be going to seven caps instead of the standard US 5. So uh, this should make it very interesting, as the two teams do seem to be pretty evenly matched. Uh, Creature coming in there. He's got very low health as he does make the grab. Knutson is not yet respawned. He must have just been taken out. Uh, LB is there trying to stop this, doing some chain gunning. He does get, there we go, Knutson respawns and does take him out. Crystal Light does, is able to pick up the grab. Shaz in the meantime did grab the IDK flag and he's pretty much halfway home. He's going to be back to his base without any problems unless their sniper does anything. Instead he tosses the flag 
We're gonna go swap to that, see exactly what's going on there. That makes a terrible bounce. There's a lot of people there, though, so they're probably gonna be able to pick this up. It does look like both teams just gave up on returning and decided to secure their own flag. Uh, but that was still a fairly risky risky thing to do, as we see Top Secret was actually there in an Infiltrator, and uh, if he'd been a little bit closer to the flag, that could have been a return, and that would have been devastating for Heartbreakers. That would have been a terrible cap to lose. Uh, Miri's hanging on to it, though, with 250 health, and Tool's coming in now, doing some serious damage. He does go down to Tool, and Crystal Light is there for the return. No one was really defending him there. I don't know what the heck was going on. Impaler is able to get that cap. He was going down at the end, but he did manage to stay alive in Creature there with the continuation grab. Full health. Does boost himself with the disc. That's going to be a problem as Knutson does get start get to get a beat on him. Miri takes out Crystallite, preventing him from killing Knutson, and Knutson does take out Creature. Good sniping there. LB's going to be able to get this return. No one else is really there. Uh, so going back to that last cap, uh, everyone just seemed to leave him alone. I'm not entirely sure why. There was only one other person there defending him, and that seemed to be a very weird decision as he was taken out very quickly, and the flag was fairly easily returned. I was expecting a bit more escorting to the standoff point before they started splitting up, but unfortunately they didn't agree with me, and it ended up costing them in the end. Uh, so we're just going to take a look here at the Heartbreaker stand and watch it a little bit as uh, Miri and Crystal Light are dueling. Epix does manage to win his duel, but Miri does go down, and they do both get taken down there, so Binz is going to be hanging on the stand, but in the meantime, Shaz is making a grab. It was a front-to-back, though, so I don't know how well this is going to work. Creature is getting a, an, a, a much better version of the grab off, but he does go down to Knutson as the sniper was alive for the Heartbreakers team. On the other side, Shad must have been dead because I didn't see any shots going off, but Shaz is going very high in the air. This is going to allow him to snipe, and you do see some shots are coming in now. None of them are hitting, though, so Shaz is probably going to be okay. The uh, chasers are not anywhere near him yet, so he's they need an e-grab at this point. Crystal Light's probably the only one that's going to be able to do anything. He bounces a little bit awkwardly on the Aqueduct, so the Top Secret's going to come in there for the e-grab. He does get it, but he's very low, but so is Shaz. Down to 258. His flag is in the field. He could go for this, but he's going to toss it off to FX Play it safe, and they're going to get their timed return in the cap. So we're expecting any second now there. Mimelin does get it, and good timing. That was pretty much perfect. Creature coming in there a little bit too late but is getting away with a fairly decent grab. Just under 500 health. Not good speed, though. Down to 246 now. Some sniper fires doing some work. Knutson barely missing those last shots. LB's really the only one that's going to be able to do something here, but he's great with that chain gun. We know he can do something. Down to 96. Shaz coming in for the e-grab. He does get it. LB, in the meantime, does manage to mow him down. Tools bouncing the flag. Pio comes in, though, at the last second and does manage to pick it up. Shaz, in the meantime, as we just see, the flag is sitting here in the field. He must have gone down. He was just trying to survive until they get someone over there to get the return, but he's going down very rapidly to that chain gun fire. Bins just barely misses the return in the air, but does manage to get it in the end. Good play there by Bins. And actually, here we see Crystallite hanging out in there. I wonder if they're just going to keep it clear or whether one of them's going to do a uh, grab. Too late, though, now, unfortunately, as the defenders have respawned. Shaz, though, managing to pick up the flag from the field. I guess no one really was there to secure it and return it. Uh, he's only at 430 health, but he has just broken line of sight on Shad. Uh, Pio's trying to chase after him, but as long as he stays low, he should be pretty much okay. Some chain gun fire coming in, but it's pretty much just lucky shots if they hit him at this point. You do see one did pick him down to four, uh, 370. Shad now getting another bead, but LB is now on him, so Shaz is going to make this home. They do need to see if they can get an e-grab off here for IDK, because this game is tied, and this probably is going to give them the lead here. And Top Secret's the only one left. Does manage to unbelievably kill Shaz there in the end, and gets the return. What an incredibly, I don't want to say lucky, but well-timed play. I'm sure that was partially intentional, but I don't know if he meant it to go quite that well. That was fantastically done. Perfect timing, as Mimelin here is able to pick the flag up from the field. Shaz had originally picked it up, I believe, uh, but did go down, or it might not have been Shaz. Someone picked it up, and the flag was sitting out in the field, and Mimelin is going to be able to get this cap. No, they missed time, return it a little bit, and he does go down. The flag is sitting right on top, and Shaz says, nah, -uh, not this time, and does manage to get the cap. So some good play there by Heartbreakers, not giving up on the flag in the field. Uh, it's a bit of a shame there for IDK. They they had a, you know, they have been doing very well up until that point, and now Heartbreakers has taken their first lead of the match. Uh, it'll be interesting to see whether IDK manages to respond and take it back, or whether we're going to see Heartbreakers take this map. As Creature comes flying in and dodges all the defense, there was a lot there, but Knutson says, you can't dodge this, and takes him out. The flag is sitting up here against the Aqueduct. Tool coming in to try and do something, but a little bit too late as uh, Ephix comes in and does manage to get the return. Whew. So, yeah, that that play there by uh, Top Secret, I believe it was, with that return. Was it Top Secret? Must have been Top Secret. Yeah, it was Top Secret. Uh, getting that return was just fantastic. Good play on the uh, Infiltrator. I actually thought he'd waited a bit too long, but he proved me wrong and got a fantastic return. I can't say enough about that. In the meantime, as you see on camera, Shaz made another back-to-front grab, and he's going to get this all the way home. Uh, didn't look like the defense was really all that far down on IDK. I mean, there's only one ammo pack there. 
Uh, it's possible someone picked up the others, but uh, it might have just been he made it through the defense. There was just too much distraction of some sort or another going on. And uh, so he got a nice back to front off. And if you're not prepared for those, or at least if he's not injured at all, then it's very, very hard to stop. We do see Creature is getting ready to set up here. Miri is just regenning health now. He's being dis uh, damaged heavily by Tool. Creature's coming in now, but he bounces wrong. I think he messed up his route just a little bit. And he does go down. Top Secret is also starting to cap. He is in that Pathfinder, so he's also going to be coming in now. I don't think they're expecting it. Uh, Miri does spot him, though, as does Kunutsum, but he does get away anyway because Miri was so low on health, so he's going to make it out for a little while. In the meantime, Shaz, with another amazing back to front, is making it all the way back to his base. No one's chasing him, so we will swap back to Top Secret, who's running into a little bit of trouble here. LB is there and mows him down in record speed and is probably not going to be able to get the return here. It is bounced nicely by Impaler, and a Shrike is now out. It's probably Crystallite. Impaler does pick up the flag. Binz is still there to try and put in a little bit of damage, but the Shrike and the three players is just too much. Let's just quickly confirm, that is Crystal Light indeed. So they're going with an Italian Shriker. Uh, it'll be very interesting to see how that works out for them. I wonder if they're going to use it offensively or defensively. I know they've used it offensively in the past, and I'm expecting that's what we'll see. Uh, so both teams are moving off here to standoff positions. Uh, IDK tossing it off to Pio, who is in the Soldier. Good move with the 1400 health, so he's going to be a tough nut to crack. Uh, in the meantime, Heartbreaker's actually staying on their base. Very interesting choice. Uh, they are giving it off to a soldier as well, who does take a little bit of damage. Not nearly as much as I thought. He's using safe ball and quick drop, he, so he's not taking much damage from these strike runovers, so they've clearly understood what IDK is trying to do, and, and they just failed miserably in trying to prevent that return because, well, IDK did get the return. Mimelin is there in the Infiltrator, so he's probably going to go for the E. Runs out of energy, though, and this is going to be a cap for IDK. They can't stop it at this point. There we go. 4-3, to three, though, still in favor of Heartbreakers. So, the interesting thing we saw there was they were actually using Safe Fall, which, if I remember correctly, when fully upgraded, means when the Shrike runs that person over, it does a lot less damage. But we do see the Shrike now being used in a Shrike grab. Crystallite in that technician. He's got full health. No one was really there ready for it. LB has taken him down a little bit. He's down to 437 as he does knock himself off. Shaz and Ethics are coming in to try and do something. Shaz might get there before him. No, he does not. And, uh, unfortunately they do get the cap for Heartbreakers. Uh, Creature, in the meantime, doing a very nice continuation grab. That was pretty much perfect timing. He's going to make it back, and this is going to be a very quick turnaround here for IDK, but no! Knutson snipes down Creature somehow. Uh, the flag does drop, buying them a little bit of time. Pio does pick it up. He is probably still going to get this cap. He is indeed, so 5-4 to four for IDK. An incredibly fast turnaround. Three quick caps for them. And uh, Tool trying to make it a fourth one, but he's, nah, he realizes this isn't going anywhere. Punts it off here. Top Secret could potentially grab it, but it bounces over him. Mimelin and LB are there for the return. Neither of them's getting it yet, though. Crystallite is dueling LB right now, and he does manage to take him out, but Crystallite does go down to Epix, who comes flying in and blows his face off. Shaz there, just, missed him, just missing a grab. Bit of a shame for him. I expect he can kill out there. There we go. So yeah, very quick turnaround uh, for IDK. That Shrike really helped them. It, got the, it helped get them the return because the uh, Heartbreakers team was so focused on the Shrike that they just simply died. Um, even though they were they seriously countered the Shrike with their perks, but unfortunately they just were too focused on it. And so they got the return in the cap and then the Shrike used for the cap and then that nice continuation cap. So just a really fast, uh, fast paced game there from IDK. Not letting up on the gas at all and puts them right back in the lead, so props to them. Uh, now it's up to Heartbreakers to respond. They've got just under 12 minutes to do it, and there's plenty of plenty of time, plenty of ability, plenty of talent. Shaz is now going to be moving in here for a front-to-back. He is going to get it, but the, there is this... They do not have a sniper anymore, I believe. That's correct. They oh, Someone has... Shad has just swapped to a sniper uh, in response to this front-to-back grab. Binz is following him, though in full health, so even if he does take down Shaz, Binz could probably get this grab off. Shaz is going very high in the air, and the one shot does hit. Pio is now chasing to see if he can get this return, if he does manage to hit it. Some chain gun fire coming in now. In the meantime, Creature getting away with the grab, but we are going to stick with Shaz. Okay, they, he is going to toss it off to Binz, so we are going to swap back to Creature, who is making it back to his base, full health. Nothing really going there. Uh, shame I didn't get to see how he got that grab off, but... We will be moving on to another standoff here. Impaler going to be hanging on to it for now until someone swaps into Soldier. Probably going to toss it off to Pio here. Uh, but let's go ahead and swap and see if they're going to stick with the same strategy. No, they're moving into the more standard position. Tossing it off to Epix, who is not using Safe Fall at the moment. Uh, there is no Shrike out for the IDK team. There is one out for the Heartbreakers team. So until they bring out a Shrike, I don't think he's going to bother. Uh, so I am going to watch the Shrike on the other side and see how they use it. There is no safe fall on Impaler, so they're not countering the Shrike with that strategy. 
Uh, and actually, in the strike is Mimelin here, so let's just keep an eye on him here. Uh, Mary does drop the flag, just gonna check him quickly, and he is being heavily dueled by Tool. He does go down, and Tool boosts in and gets the nice return. So IDK proving to be fairly superior on these standoffs. Strike grab possibly coming in, but no, Mimelin makes some mistakes and misses. Shaz does manage to get the E grab out, but he does die, although it buyed him clearly enough time, and Mimelin takes down Impaler and gets the return. Clutch play there by Mimelin. Good idea by Shaz. I mean, he didn't get very far, but he bought his team clear, uh, more than enough time as uh, they mowed down the capper and got the return. So somewhat of a dual return there. Unfortunately for Heartbreakers, this does mean they are still one cap down. They still need to get that one cap back to tie this game up and then hopefully bring us into an overtime and maybe a win there from either team at the very last second. Or not. Someone can just win whenever they feel like it. I really don't care. Just keep the action up because that's what they're doing. We see a lot of spam going off here, distracting on this Heartbreaker's defense here. Creature is getting ready to come in. It's just Miri. Tool is taking him down. This is going to be a problem. Creature does get hit, though, pretty heavily, down to 300 health. One snipe would probably do the trick, maybe two. Shaz makes a grab, but he does get Nitron, and the flag's bouncing in the midfield. So it's going to buy them a little bit of time. They do toss it off to top secret here for IDK. Shaz is going to be able to pick up his flag again. And he's very low on health, but once again, no snipers preventing them from killing him at this point. They have to send an actual chaser in. Crystal Light is now back in the Shrike. He's going to be going after him here. Shaz needs to do some dodging, some very good dodging by him. He is going to toss it off here to Knutson, which is uh, not a great idea. Uh, but Ephix is going to be the one to pick it up in the end. Miri bouncing it away from his teammate there. It's a bad move, and Ephix goes down. This is probably going to be a return here for Tool. Tool is going to be able to walk on. It does get the return, and they toss it off to Shad. Bin's making the E-grab. And it uh, looks like, unless they take... Okay, Bin suicides. That's uh, that's uh, special. I guess he pun punted it. That makes a lot of sense if he did that. Ephix does manage to get the grab and gets mowed over by Crystal. I could play on there in the strike. Pio barely missing the flag on the return. Memlin is going to be able to pick this up. Uh, he does manage to take down Pio, so he only has to really deal with the strike, which is doing a, doing a ton of work on this Heartbreakers team. They're really having to focus a lot on it, and they just sim can't seem to take it down all that easily. Uh, Mimelin isn't a Pathfinder, though, so he's going to be able to dodge it fairly decently for now. Uh, it is smoking, so it's probably very low. He's going to have one or probably just one more run on it, and uh, that'll that'll be that. Creature coming in now, trying to get a Nitron in the back. Doesn't manage to do it. In the meantime, Shad did drop the flag, but no one seems to be there for the return, so Impaler's going to be able to pick it up without any contesting. Uh, Miri now setting up with the flag. On, they're trying the big hill this time. That Shrike is still alive, and it's got 1,400 health. This could be a problem here. It does go finally go down. He runs into the ground. Miri is very low, though. This could be a problem here. Miri down to 150 health. Some chain gun fire not quite coming in anymore. And Crystal Light finally starting it up again, but not enough. Tool is really the only one left. Oh, never mind. Crystal Light was still alive. Miri does punt it off to buy his team a little bit of time to respawn and try and kill these guys before they get the return. Crystal Light coming flying in. Does manage to get it. No one respawns in time. But in the meantime, Impaler does go down to some great chain gun fire, and Bins gets the double return. Creature trying to make a bit of a uh, follow-up grab here. Has to disc himself, and he gets taken down. Or he tried to toss it off to top secret there, I believe. I don't think he got Nitron. And uh, this is going to be a fairly easy return, and they do get the return. In the meantime, Ephix getting away with a front to back, but gets sniped down by Shad, who swapped from that soldier into the sniper to take care of that. Seven minutes to go. Flags are both going to be safe and returned here. And whew, not letting up on the action, these two teams. Creature, you see there, is getting about 10 seconds out. Tool kind of looks like he's a little too far out, as is Top Secret. Bins is dueling Top Secret as well. Top Secret's probably not going to last much longer, so he's not going to be able to do all that much in terms of distraction. Knutson has not spotted Creature. This could be huge. Miri hasn't either. Now they have spotted him, and they are not going to get the body block after the fact. Creature's going to get it with full health, but no, he's being mauled. What amazing chain gun fire there from Bins and sniping from Knutson. Does manage to take him down in an unbelievably fast speed. Crystallite picks it up, but Bins just says, meet my chain gun. And down he goes with the return. What unbelievable defensive chasing, shooting stuff thingamajiggies there. That was crazy. Uh, Shaz, in the meantime, getting a grab, but not really going anywhere. He does go down. It's going to be a return here for Pio. No, Mimelin says, I am going to kill thou. And Crystallite's going to get the return instead. Maybe would have liked to see Mimelin jump out of there and get the Shrike grab off, because I think that would have been interesting if he just quickly turned around, zoomed a little bit, and made the grab. Uh, you might have thought someone else was coming in, but unfortunately not quick enough. So both flags are back on their stands, just under six minutes to go. Enough time for anything still to happen in this game. We've seen how fast the caps can happen. Topsker taking down Ephix, just Miri, and Knutson left here on the stand. Shaz is not going to go help. He's going to go set up, and basically everyone is dead. Creature's going to come in for a side-to-side -side route this time. A little bit of an interesting choice here, uh, but it will save him a little bit from the sniper for now. 
Uh, 510 health, so dual nitron damage. Uh, Hilton has just respawned, is getting a couple sniper shots on him now. The Shrike is now on him too, so this is going to be a problem for him. There misses all the shots. Epic's trying to do some chain gunning, does manage to chain gun him. Shaz in the meantime getting away with a side to side grab of his own, but does get taken down. Uh, Nice toss off there, Paler with the grab. 820 health. They are going to be able to get this timed return on Shad. Diamond Sword flag return, but Impaler's down with no health. FX does manage to take him down. Not going to get the return though. Pio gets it, but he gets taken out by Mimelin, who gets the return, or it might have been Bins and Mimelin making that E grab. He's going to go down. Tool making the grab for the IDK team. No one really on him yet. Miri and Epic's coming flying in here now, going to try and do something. He's down to 91 health. That mm, was an interesting choice there. He's going to toss it off to Top Secret, who misses it. Uh, Nitron there doesn't do anything. Crystallite is going to try and get this. Shaz forces the return. Now he's going to try and mow him down, but it's not going to be enough. Shaz does go down. This is going to be a sixth cap. It is not. LB comes in at the last second, gets a Nitron off, returns the flag, and picks it up at the same time. LB, you are a hero right now for the Heartbreakers team. Feel proud. Now just get this flag home and cap it, and I'm sure they will love you forever. So he's down to 325 health. He has just broken line of sight on the sniper and did manage to dominate Pio. That's a slightly embarrassing there. Uh, he does have an escort, two escorts here in Shaz and Mimelin. Shaz is going decently speed. He's going to try and toss it off to Epix, and it does bounce nicely. Uh, so it's all up to the defense now. Tool with the E-grab, though, as Miri was really the only one on the stand. They need to see if they can do something about this. He's not going fast. They can easily get this return. It's just going to... They just need to make sure they get the timed return right. But the Shrike is out here again for IDK. That's been a problem for Heartbreakers the whole night. The flag is returned, but Creature comes in almost predicting that timed return and gets away. He's at half health, though. In the meantime, Epix does go down to the Crystal Light P.O. combo, and it's going to be returned. No, it's not. Miri says, not in my house. Takes them out. And, yeah, you see the complimentary nice move there from Crystal Light as Miri picks it up, and we probably will be heading off to another standoff. Uh, Creature tries to toss it off here to Crystal Light, who gets it off the bounce. Mimelin coming in with Nitrons, gets a nice Nitron off there. Bins could maybe get this return. Shaz came in just a little bit too late. Epic's going for it. Does get the return. There we go, the tying cap. Five to five, three and a half minutes left to go. Anybody's game at this point. I don't even know which way it's going to go. Uh, Heartbreaker certainly with a little bit of momentum here. They've had some really nice plays in the past couple minutes, and they've gotten the cap, so... I don't know. It's tough. I'm going to very casually place my money on the Heartbreakers chip, but eh. Could easily... IDK has played so well tonight, too. It could easily go either way. We see here Tool is losing the duel now. It's just up to top secret now to try and clear the stand. Oh, Crystallite coming in now as well. Whoops, my bad there on the camera. Uh, to clear the stand for Creature, who will be coming in in about 5-10 seconds, unless he went down to Knutson there. I expected him to be coming in, but there we go. He's just setting up now, so he's quite a ways out. So the defense is going to be reset. Only Tool's going to be on there to distract, so we're going to go ahead and watch this stand. Impaler now playing with that heavy. Shaz coming in now. There's two people ready for him, though. He's not getting anywhere. And indeed, he does go down uh, to LB. Wait, he went down to LB? Huh. Heh, heh, heh. LB killing his own teammate there. Uh, Mimelin getting away with the flag. Not getting anyway with the flag. He sort of grabbed it, just sort of chucked it off. Tool... Making a grab here as well, but he gets sniped down by Knutson very quickly. So a little bit of miscommunication there, actually, from the Heartbreakers team as uh, LB took down Shaz. I think he would have been dead anyway, but it's still not really something you like to see. I mean, uh, for any of you that might just be watching Tribes for the first couple times, uh, team damage is 100%, so you take full damage from when your teammate hits you. Mimelin here getting away with a front to back because Top Secret in the meantime did have the Heartbreakers flag and he got it all the way back to his base, tossed it off to Impaler here. Ethix gets a nice Nitron off, but unfortunately no one here to take advantage of it. Everyone's pretty much away guarding Mimelin. Uh, so we are going to keep an eye on him. He gets Nitron? Or he tried to make a toss off. I have no idea which, but it was a problematic thing. Crystal Light does manage to get the return and the cap for IDK. One and a half minutes left to go. One cap difference. IDK in the lead. Shaz coming in here with the grab, but gets taken out by the mines. That's the trouble if their generators are up. You Or the force field, rather. Or the mines. I don't even know which took him out. I believe it was the mines. Uh, but yeah, that was a uh, that was very problematic, unfortunately, for this Heartbreakers team. They only need to get the flag off the stand. They don't need to cap to force an overtime. They just need to get it off the stand and force a standoff of some sort. But when that Hoff is on the stand and the generators are up, it's going to be very difficult to take care of them. I mean, those force fields are going to be a problem. But Bins comes in and gets taken out by Impaler's mine. Unfortunately, there, we saw there was one hanging out in the back here. Otherwise, he would have gotten away very nicely with that grab. Everyone's just going to start having to crash the stand here for the Heartbreakers team. They really don't need to care about this grab at all. I mean, 
they just need to get their own grab. They only have 45 seconds to get the, the flag off the stand. Vins is going to do just that. Top secret in the meantime, down to two, two, 244. What a mortar from LB. Oh my god. Absolutely brilliant there. Takes him out. Unfortunately, it's picked up by Impaler anyway, sort of nullifying that, but he's about to go down as well. He does go down. If they get the return, no. Pio is going to be able to pick it up. He's very low, down to 250, but LB goes down, so they're going to be able to toss this off. We're going to go take a look at Bins here, who does have the IDK flag, so they have done what they needed to do. This will move into an overtime, provided Creature and Crystal Light here don't manage to kill Bins. There's no one really helping him here. He's down to 61 health, does get taken down. This could be it, and I believe it will be. Miri is the closest one, and he's not close. There's the return. Tool is not even going to get the cat, but it doesn't matter, unfortunately, for the Heartbreakers team. They had two people on the stand, just couldn't get it off in those last two seconds. 6-5 to five for IDK on the first map, Arx Novena, in this number one matchup for the Game Shrine spot. Whew, what a game. Uh, the second map will be Catabatic, I believe. Um, there's not that much analysis needed to go on for this game. Both teams were great and made some clutch plays. IDK just happened to come out on top that time. Hopefully Catabatic will be just as interesting, so please stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks all for watching.